Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I wanted to show you a stove I've been working on all day. Um, still haven't got it working right, but uh, it's kind of a concept stove I've been working on. Now, I started out thinking that I would build a stove to put in my backpack, just a one-off stove for myself, something, you know, really nice. So that's what I started with. Now, I originally had an SC600 in my backpack. <clears throat> so I thought I would jump off of that and try to make something a little better than a standard uh, SC600. So what I did was, I started out by taking the regular turbo top off, which is probably where I should have stayed, and making a bigger top that was my thought was to have some sort of a windscreen. Well, yeah, it looks really cool and all that, but didn't work very good for windscreen. had too many holes in it. So I thought of putting another piece inside or outside that I could adjust the openings by having the same set of holes and then turning it a half a hole. But uh, it wasn't really high enough, so I, bottom line, scrapped that idea. It'll be in the proto. I'll have this on the site sometime. <laughs> for anybody that wants a tricked out top for the squirrel cage. Okay, so then I built one, if I can get it out here, like this. And I put the holes, originally I put the holes in the side. And that one's probably around here somewhere. But the problem I ran into when I had the holes in the side was that when you blew wind on it, it went right in the holes and caused all kinds of problems with the flame. So, I ended up putting the holes in the bottom, which worked a lot better. Uh, this is the second one, or the third one. The first one had the had uh, half as big a holes and twice as many of them. <clears throat> the problem I ran into with that one was, uh, and I, I don't know why, it actually got so hot, I guess, that it eroded this collar here and actually this collar dissolved and kind of just looked like an old uh, peaceful wood stove grate or something that had been abused uh, and just heat eroded. So I threw that away and I made another one and that didn't work. This is the third one and so far this one, as near as I can tell, hasn't eroded but we'll see. And I put the 716 holes in the bottom of it. Now, I originally had the, the fuel inlet drilled right into the side and going in. And I got away from that because when the fuel went in, this was so darn hot that it vaporized the fuel immediately and I didn't have any reserve, which I wanted to go down in and fill the bottom of this. So what I did was I took the original bottom off and built this bottom. Uh, with uh, a nipple on it and peened it right on and then put the silicone on so the fuel was going into the base which isn't nearly so hot because I've got a piece of silicone here to block the, the heat from going to the base and that worked fairly well. Uh, the next problem I had was that I can get this back together. The next problem I had was that this top was too close to the pot. So when you put the pot on, it acted really funny. So I shortened it uh, three times before I got it down low enough. And then I noticed that if I lift the pot up just a little bit so the air could get by the pot and the base, it seemed to work a lot better. So I milled three slots in here to let the air out by the pot. That didn't work that great, so I put three uh, standoffs in here to hold the pot up a little bit. That seemed to work quite a bit better. Um, still not where I want it yet. I think what I'm going to, the reason why it's not where I want it is, I've discovered that the flame is a little bit too close to the pot. Uh, so I'm thinking about taking this and taking this out and running this right down low to give me more altitude, more distance for the flame before it hits the pot. Uh, and that's probably what I'll try next. But even on that, I'm not completely sure 
the tunnel wear up because then I don't really have any reserve for fuel. So I've got to figure something out for reserve for fuel here, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. So that's where I am on this prototype. Now, as far as me ever putting these in the store, uh, at this point in time, it was not going to happen because there's an entire day of machine work just in this one stove. <laughs> I'd have to get $300, $400 a piece for them. But, uh, as you'll see in the video, uh, it is kind of unique, and my goal here was to make this windproof. And you can bring your, your water up to a boil. and then turn the fan on and turn it right up on high and watch it and it'll still it still boils it doesn't the wind doesn't change it a bit if anything it blows in underneath it and makes it a little bit hotter so in a really I mean we're talking like a 20 mile an hour wind right into the stove from the fan uh, it'll still burn right along the flame doesn't go out or anything so I have managed to do that, but the price has been huge. I'm not sure it's worth the time. Uh, I, I usually try to stay out of the wind to begin with. And uh, even if you do keep it so the flame is going, the wind blown by the pot is carrying off a lot of heat. So it's really not a very efficient way to boil water when you're out into the wind. You're better off to get in out of the wind somewhere, in a corner somewhere. So that's what I'm up to. I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors. And more important than anything, have a really great day. Bye-bye.